Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. A very jubilant and happy Dev Sani. Dev, just talk to me about tonight. Unbelievable. I mean, uh, it's probably gone better than I thought it could. Obviously, all week we've been like, oh, 5 0, 5 0. But it's actually 4 0 right now. And Big Bang Zhang's about to take on Deontay Wilder. I don't know how that fight's going to go. Like, that's one I couldn't pick. But unbelievable night. So proud of our boys. Hamza Shiraz, the skipper. By the way, Austin Amo Williams, so much heart. I'm a fan. He made me a fan tonight. I'm also a fan of Ray Ford. I just like Nick Paul more. And uh, that was a great close fight. And uh, who else? Daniel Dubois just knocked out Philip Bergovic. Daniel Dubois just stopped Philip Bergovic. I mean, his, his heavyweight resume now, win-loss resume, Joyce, Usyk, Big Baby Miller, Hergovic, that's a serious heavyweight contender. Could be AJ next. What a fight that is. That's just two British heavyweights that will punch holes in each other. I'm hyped, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just really happy. And, do you know, all, all the matchroom guys did really well. That, that's the thing. Like, especially Ammo Williams. I thought, I thought he, he held on very well. But, hey, 4-0, one to go. Let's see what happens. I can see Deontay Wilder on his way to the ring. Suit looking a tad heavy. Let's see. Let's see. But, uh, all jokes aside, um, I'm looking forward to this fight now. Dev. Did you ever envisage in your wildest dreams, and be honest with me, that you should be at this stage with one fight to go? I, I thought they'd have got something on the score. I thought they'd have touched us. Do you know, this is like this is this is a uh, this has been quite the trouncing so far. But uh, hey, may, maybe Deontay Wilder's going to get them on the scoreboard. Quite a quite a funny person to be relying on to get on the scoreboard. Like, but hey, what a night! What a night. Does a whitewash reignite the vicious rivalry again? I don't know. I think uh, if Frank rubs it in, if there's an open top bus parade, I'm hearing all sorts of funny ideas. Let's see how that goes because I can't imagine like you can't just keep having a go. Do you know what I mean? It'll be uh, it'll be good fun. I spoke to Don Charles and he referenced three fights in 12 months with Daniel Dubois and he believes he is going to make him a superstar. What do you make of those comments? He's a superstar now after that performance on a show like this with the world's eyes on it beating an unbeaten Filip Hergovic and stopping him and looking good, looking like even if the ref stoppage didn't like come like that, he'd, he'd have got to him. Hergovic was looking tired in there. Daniel Dubois was just, just kept going. Fantastic. He's a superstar now. And uh, look, if he fights Anthony Joshua next, then of course, any, anyone who fights Anthony Joshua sort of becomes a superstar. If you've got a British heavyweight like that, who's had a great up and down journey that the public are now starting to understand and get behind, likeable guy, nice guy, big smile, lets his fist do the talking, and yeah, superstar awaits. Turkey referenced an all-British card, AJ against Dubois as the headline. Do you believe Daniel Dubois can beat Anthony Joshua? You've obviously, over the years, you know, AJ's had a little tiff with you over things you've said. Do you believe that Daniel Dubois can get the better of Anthony Joshua? They can beat each other, That's and that's the beauty of it. They literally could knock each other out. I felt like that with the Hergovic fight. The first three rounds, I thought one of these boys is getting chinned. Uh, and thankfully, it wasn't Daniel, and it just sort of kept going. Daniel set a mad pace, but I, I think if AJ lands on Dubois, he could probably knock him out. But if Dubois lands on AJ, he could knock him out. It's one of those beautifully brutal fights that uh, hopefully we get to see. Two more from me before I let you go, because I do want to watch this fight. Yeah. Chat to me really quickly about Nick Ball tonight. That's a tough fight to come into after what happened before. Then it goes to split decision again, and you're thinking he might get it again. What did you make of that fight? Could have went either way. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's one of those where at the final bell, you can't say for a hundred percent that you think your guy's going to get it. That's how I felt anyway. I, I, like, I was waiting with bated breath, who's going to get it? And that felt about right. One fifteen, one thirteen. Either way, you could do it. You could probably give a draw as well. But it didn't go for him last time. It went for him this time, and shout out Ray Savage Ford for being a savage and also being very magnanimous in defeat saying the better guy won tonight when one judge obviously had him winning but special fighter in Nick Ball the UK has a new world champion Liverpool has a new world champion and Queensbury Promotions has a new world champion last one for me will you be in the office on Monday for Frank Smith in his maid's outfit is it going to happen? Wouldn't miss it for the world. What's your order, Frank Smith? Look down that camera and tell him what you want, Dev. <laughs> no, Frank, Frank's been great, by the way. He's um, uh, Throughout all of this, he's been a great sport. And like he was shouting out earlier after they went like 4-0 down. He was like, how many sugars is it, Dev? So, funny guy. And uh, look, I'm sure he will follow through on the, on the, on the bet. And uh, I will be there waiting, filming, watching. Can't wait. Dev Sani, always a pleasure. Thank you. Right, you too, mate.